Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us back here on the Bugle Bungalow. Gutsy Hunter here with you. Uh, Gone ahead and started a fresh account today uh, with the Hunter Classic. Uh, I went back through my video series on the beginner series and realized uh, I had continued a little too far without making new videos. So this is a brand new start, the tutorial beginning right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump right in. I've gone ahead and decided for this series to add the camera. So if you guys enjoy that, make sure to let me know. Let me know what you think about that. Uh, but we will go ahead and jump right in here. So our hunting career begins. Welcome to the Evergreen Hunting Reserves. My name is Doc. I'm going to teach you how to hunt your first white-tailed deer. First things first. Take a deep breath, immerse yourself in the scenery, and analyze your surroundings. Many animals are good at blending in with the wilderness. If you want to see and hunt an animal, then you're going to need to think like one. Wait, do you hear that? Get him to stop here, huh? Get around there, buddy. Doesn't want to stop. Yeah, I need a broadside shot. Come on. Wrong equipment! Looks like you weren't properly prepared for this hunt. From what I can see, you don't have a scope. And makes an accurate shot. Oh, to make an accurate shot, and so you're not using an ethically correct weapon for your white-tailed deer. Guns that are not ethical. On the ethical list for a certain animal often means that it's either too powerful or too weak. In this case, the latter. Let's get back to the lodge and I'll help you properly set up. Alright. Let's do that, Doc. Hunting white tail with a 223. Here we are, Whiteheart Island's hunting post. Uh, every reserve has two hunting lodges. A lodge is where you prepare your loadout before a hunt, or check out your trophy room if you own one. There's even a shooting range nearby if you want to try out your gun. In any case, hunters are always welcome at any lodge, so just take your time to get to know the place. Now, how about getting you set up with the proper whitetail hunting equipment? Here, take my trusty 243. Rifle and scope and ammunition. Alright, so we push the mighty I key here. Uh, that should be the 243, it certainly is. Okay, we want the th rounds and the, the scope. <coughs> Alright. I think we're all set here. Try visiting this shooting range. Alright, let's head on the perfect. You have a stronger gun that's permitted for whitetail, deer, and other animals around the same size. If you want, feel free to try out your new rifle by the shooting range. Otherwise, if you're ready, head out then pack away your rifle. Bring out your hunting mate and we'll get embark on our next adventure, basically. Huh? Alright, well, let's go ahead and do what the tutorial says here. Oh. We're running across the ground there. Try this a little further here. There's a kill shot. Uh, 
Another kill shot. Looks good. Alright, I think we are ready. Let's go ahead and we will break out our hunter mate. Which is the tap key as it says up there. I think this is uh, Trophy Lodge, yeah. Which we don't own. So we will go ahead and play shooting area, pistol range. I don't think, uh, if I remember right, don't have access to these cabins here, so. But let's go ahead and uh, take a gander and see what we see. It might all be trophy lodges, actually. Can't go in it. Uh, C is to run by default, so I just figured we'd go ahead and run over here to see if we can go into this one. Since it. Nope. All right. Let's go check this cabin here just to make sure. Alright. So I'll have to save up to get one of those nice hunting lodges here. Alright, here we are out in the open. Back to it. The hunt begins again. The beautiful open fields of the White Heart Island. Just look at that view. There seems to be some fresh tracks nearby, so I'm pretty sure the whitetail you were hunting earlier is roaming around this area. When tracking, always have your hunter made out. It will help you pick up footprints, droppings, and calls coming from animals nearby. See those tracks in front of you? Try scanning them with your hunter mate. Alright, Doc. You got it, buddy. So I'm going to go down to crouch mode automatically. Control is to crouch. Track show up as a red arc. I like that. Pretty blue on mine. So we've got the white tail deer roaming. Hit the back, which is the right click. So we know we need to go this way. Follow the cone. Let's go get our second set of tracks here. Head this way. The third set of tracks is going to be right up here. You can tell. So it's got the dome. If it was a, if it wasn't the current track set that we wanted, it'd be kind of like an arch rather than a dome. Okay. So we know. So he's within that circle here. Okay. Keep our eyes open here. When we get out of the tutorial, I'll go ahead and uh, when we come across some tracks that we haven't, that you know that we're not currently tracking, I will go ahead and I'll show you that difference. But you can see this is a dome, so this is the current animal we're tracking here. So now it's just a little closer here. Like 
he's directing them so we're past this tree line. So let's go ahead and follow what Doc's got here for us. He's bedded down right there. So this means the uh, white-tailed deer was resting here not too long ago. The animals should be really close. Let's lure it out to us. The first thing we need to do for luring out is find a good spot to crouch and hide, and he'll show us where to position ourselves. So it says up there we might want to stop running. We haven't been running. We are currently we've been crouched the whole time. So, but normally you guys, yeah, would want to make sure you're not running all around. Uh, the sound does carry for quite a ways, and it will scare and alert animals your location. All right. So as you're saying, left control to go ahead and enable that crouch. So I guess I gotta do it now. All right, there we go. So we're going to equip our collar. Let's get that collar out. There he is. So if we ID it, you can see he's straight ahead of us. As a matter of fact, we can see him right there. So now it wants us to equip our binoculars. Right click. There he is. There it is. It shows the spotting and everything. So if you don't get a vital hit on it, apparently you can't track it down. All right, fair enough. So we'll be more patient here then. Give him a second here. Hopefully he'll turn broadside for us. Get there. As he stops. There we go. Let's go ahead and go pick him up. Nice looking white tail. What is it? A three point? Four point? Yeah, nice little four point. So even though he was pretty standing still, we got a uh, stomach intestine shot instead of the lung area. Well. Good ending. Congratulations, you bagged your first year. I'm sure it'll make a mighty fine trophy on that one. Last thing you need to know about is shot placement. It's very important to aim for vital organs when it comes to ensuring your kill. If possible, always aim for the chest area since a headshot will always in if, always efficiently bring an animal down. It will save you a lot of time tracking it otherwise. Well, I'd say you're about ready to leave the nest. Keep my gun fledgling. You will need it in the future. Feel free to roam the reserve before you head out. There are plenty of deer in this forest this time of year. All right, so we are done basically with the tutorial. Uh, we have an optional here. We can explore the island. So you 
kind of see where we've gone around to here. So basically, if we follow that route, uh, that will be exploring it. So let's go ahead and uh, take a little time here and do that. Let's head over to, I think first does the... Yeah, it wants us to go over here to the... Or is that the way we already went? That might be already be from where we started the beginning. So we'll head over here anyway to the Let's go ahead and we can walk. And we'll see if we can see uh, or track any other animals while we're heading over here to the uh, tower. And then we'll do uh, bring up the mission list here and accept all missions. One of the things I've been reading about uh, when you first start to count is just to grab all the missions uh, that are available and then start working on those to get the uh, GMs that we need to rack up there. Uh, a lot of uh, players from what I've witnessed is they like to go ahead and save up to get the uh, the bow right away, which is probably what we'll do. It sounds like a sound idea. Uh, I enjoy using the bow on uh, Call of the Wild a lot, so... But let's see if this gives us any information when we walk up to it. Our hunter mate doesn't trigger anything. So to climb up here, you just push E, and we get up right up into the tower here. We can kind of take a look here and. Take a look at the map. So there's a white-tailed deer around here. Uh, I think it's bringing up the same startup information. Yeah, this is where we began, so let's go ahead and, oh, we can resume game, but it's kind of locked us into this position. Let's see, what else can we do here? I guess we'll have to fire. All right, well, <laughs> let's go ahead. <laughs> we'll relaunch it. Uh, 
Should hopefully just bring us right back into the... Yep, there we go. All right, so here's the main loading screen uh, that you guys would normally see after completing the tutorial. Uh, by default, uh, it, it starts here at the... Um, can't tell what reserve that is. Log oh, logger's point. Logger's point. So the logger's point is where you start. There's uh, basically two hunting lodges here. Um, but what we want to go ahead and do um, is come over here to the missions. And when you start out, this has been something they've added new. So if we ID, ID tracks from a male fox, that will complete this daily mission. But we want to click on the regular missions tab here. You can see there's a whole bunch of them, 27 of them. So we just want to take these and activate them all. And these are the missions that we're going to focus on to begin making our, our money here. Just about there, guys. And the last one. All right, so we've activated all 27 uh, missions. We're going to start with tracking the white one, uh, white-tailed deer. Um, says we're still as green as it comes. We need to uh, locate three uh, white-tailed tracks from the same animal. So we'll go ahead and we'll begin that. So. Let's go ahead and jump in. Um, so if you kind of hang here, you can see what uh, area, you know, um, animals are, are near this this area of this lodge. So we can see that there's no white tail there. There are white tail here in the Highland Lodge, and there are white tail, I believe, here at the Homestead Lodge. So um let's go ahead and select this one though has a lot is has a lot more of the towers near it so i think we'll start with that one starting time is 7 a.m in the morning let's go ahead rock and roll get in there Take a quick drink of coffee here. Gotta have that good coffee in the morning. Woo! Keeps the blood flowing. Alrighty. Let's see if we can put our real life hunting uh, experience into play here. So, nice little campfire in the morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at our inventory. Uh, what is this? Is that the shotgun? It is the shotgun. I don't think... Can we pack it together? Oh, we can. Uh, let's do... We're gonna put slugs into this one. Oh, that exceeds the maximum we can carry, huh? Do we need the camera? I don't think we need it right now. So let's go ahead and go back to weapons... There we go. So we've got 10 slugs. We've got 10 uh, rounds of 243. Now, uh, keep in mind, uh, the 243, you don't have to buy uh, ammo for continuously. So with that, every time you start a new hunt, you get uh, fresh free ammo. So keep that in mind, guys. Keep the 243. Use it as long as you can uh, to keep building up those GMs. So uh, We're going to go ahead and approach this uh, account as... Uh, we're not going to buy any uh, EMs, so we will 
continue to move forward there. So, all right. So we want to start heading. Let's go ahead and start heading to the oh, wrong one. I want to go start heading to that. So we'll come out of the lodge here and make a sharp left turn. So as soon as we come to that first track, because we're not currently tracking anything, I will show you that difference between that dome and the arc um, that we, we were talking about earlier. Oh, so there's our first call. So we have... A white-tailed deer back behind us that way. It's a doe. Let's go ahead and continue, Mike. Well, of course, our first mission is a track three track, so. Let's just go ahead and do that then. Sharp. I'm guessing from looking at the hunter mat, they're pr or hunter mate, they're probably close up here on these flats of the ridge. We'll get up here and take a closer look. Or they're down on that draw. They might be down on that draw actually. Let's, uh, probably what we're going to do though is continue up over the hill here. So the reason that, uh, while we're walking here, the reason that we took the shotgun... Uh, was the slugs we can actually hunt elk with, so... Uh, in... Probably in the next episode we'll do a little focusing on the elk hunt. But let's go ahead and work on the whitetail missions here for right now. Okay, we're getting in the realm here. Let's go ahead and crouch down. Oh, what do we put our... Oh, it's in six now. Okay. Fair enough. I once again right click just one time to bring the binoculars up to view. And then right click one time to bring it down. Same thing with the scope. I had some questions in one of my other videos. Um, people were like, oh, we can't scope in. Um, so she's right there next to us. Just see what we can find out here. Let's 
seen her up there. Keep our eyes out for our tracks here. There we go. So this is going to be a dome because this is the track. Oh, perfect example. So you can see that half, kind of what I would call the fingernail um, look right there. Uh, so that is a new track, but it's a track that we are not actively and currently tracking. Whereas that one right there is coming directly from the doe that we heard her bleed just a moment ago. So if we come down here and grab this track... Okay, so we can see it's a white-tailed deer roaming. We can see that the circle, she's very close to us, basically. So if we go this way, so we need to find two more tracks. So there they are. And I'm okay if we spook her, because right now this is just tracking... Uh, that's what this mission is, just to track white-tailed deer. Okay. So you can see that's the third one that we've gotten. So we'll grab one more. And that should... You can see up there at the top, uh, mission, a, a track of white-tailed deer completed. So, excellent. So what we can do now is let's go ahead and activate close out we don't need that uh, let's go back to the missions here so now the next mission you can see is uh, to spot a whitetail so let's go ahead and do that next here let me get in some better cover here I think what we'll do is let's get into this brush right here. Let's see, can we see her before we make a call? I mean, she's fairly close, so. So the four key will bring out that again. All these keys are customizable, guys, so if the defaults aren't working for you, by all means, make sure to, to select uh, keys that will work for you, and you can do that in the settings area. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know in the, in the comments, and uh, I'll make sure to respond to those for you. Or if you need some more in-depth, we can do a video on that, how to change your key binds. Oh, there she is, right below us there. Let's go ahead and break out our... Get her spotted. You can start seeing the highlight going around her. And we've spotted her. So that should complete that mission. Pretty sure that's what we were supposed to do. Just spot her. So you can see we don't unlock weight uh, estimate until level 3, and then the estimated score to level uh, 5. Another one out there? No. Okay, so we can go ahead now. Let's tab out and see what our next mission is. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and refresh the 
screen there. Oh, it says a refresh yet, huh? Go to the dashboard. Then we'll go back to mission as soon as it refreshes our progress here. Uh, let's jump back in. That should refresh it. So now uh, we need to harvest it. So it doesn't say whether it has to be a buck or doe. Um, so I think we'd be okay harvesting her. I mean, normally you'd want to... Yeah. That's all right. Okay, I would rather, oh, I would rather um, go for a buck anyway, so. So let's uh, do what we originally were planning. Let's go ahead and... Head back towards the uh, the tower, the hunting uh, tower, and we will, or I should say, the hunting stand. If we want to be hunting politically correct here, <laughs> so we'll walk up the ridge line here. Oh, what do we hear? We heard something. Another white tail, huh? Off that direction. Well, let's go take a look at it. Now you also, one of the big things you always want to do is make sure you pick up all the tracks you can uh, as you come across them. That will build up your your tracking for multiple species. So we're going to pick up this one. And we'll keep on going through here. I think that was the original deer that we were tracking. We'll head over this way to where we heard that noise. Keep our eyes open. So here's a new track up here. We're going to grab this one, kind of see what we've got here. Yep, we're sure we want to abandon that one. You can see this one is going, uh, pointing us in this direction, I should say. So somewhere within this cone, we're going to find another track from this uh, deer here. Looks like it's right over here. Okay. Nope. That just uh, looks like a doe. Yep, just a doe. So we'll make sure we spot her so we can get uh, some tracking credit for that. There she's calling back at us. I don't know if she'll turn broadside for us, but we'll see. She's 
She senses something's going on. She's a little nervous. She can tell the way she's twitching her head around. And <sighs> All right. So we took down Doe. Uh, we won't get any um, EMs for her. Uh, however, uh, that should accomplish mission, though, here. So. so we got Long Liver. That is a good kill. Harvest value 100%. So CSS is the equivalent of what you would get for um, its trophy rating, and that's usually what you're paid out in GMs. So you can sell. You want to sell it? Yeah, we'll sell it. So we got an achievement unlocked, one white-tailed deer. Let's see if that gets a mission. We got another rifle. And there's the mission for the harvest. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what our next mission is going to be. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the news. Back to the missions. All right. Majesty at her best. Uh, so these are grizzly bears, so we're going to go ahead and hold off on those. Let's continue down here. So as you can see, all these now have opened up. So if we go to our whitetail missions, the next one is to uh, spot an eight-point deer. So that's not too difficult to do. Most of the deer are, where I come from, the, we call them a four-point. So the game likes to refer to the points on both sides. So that's where they get the eight-point from. Uh, so in my world, that would be a four-point. So that's an easy enough to do. We'll go ahead. Oh, did I activate that? I didn't. Yep, we did. Okay. So let's go ahead and that is activated. Let's go ahead and see if we can get onto some bucks here. We might head over to that hunting stand right there, though. Let's pick this up. Let's see what this is. Another deer. A roaming deer. What do we got here? So let's readjust our map here. We're going to go ahead and head over here. I always want to right click on that. So it's left click, guys, to kind of mark the map there for you. So we're actually going to make our way over here to the, the hunting stand and see what we can do there. Maybe we can call in a buck from there. Turn up the sound here a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving through here. So we got a new trail here now. It looks like it was here a while ago. It's a pretty large circle. Sound like a moose in the distance. Let's see what this, uh, I got the Roosevelt elk call. So we know there's some elk there. I think we're going to keep going this way.
That uh, was a cow call too. All right, let's see. I haven't seen any tracks right around here yet. Oh, there's one right here. Let's see what we got here. Let's see, we got us a uh, turkey roaming around there, huh? Going back that way. Another track right here. So usually, you want to make sure you guys are getting three of the same track. Um, <clears throat> that gives you that kind of a bonus, I guess is the best way to put it, for when you're looking for species and trying to level up the tracking skills. So I think what we're going to do is try to find a third. Oh, so there's our whitetail tracking. Just went up to level two. There's the turkey. I can see the hunting stand right up here, so let's go ahead. And Quite a few turkey tracks in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we'll crouch down here. A little silent. I think what we'll do is we'll get up here into the stand, do some calling, um, see if there's a buck with these does. We'll start them coming in here, at least. Alright. So you can see we have a couple of really good shooting lanes. One there, one there. But that doe is actually calling from back here behind us. So let's see uh, see what happens here for just a moment. I'll just go ahead and mute this real quick, guys. Uh, have a drink a cup of coffee and I'll be right back. All right, let's see here. There's a doe already. Trying to see if we can see that cow elk. So while we're up here, they can't uh, really smell us. They can't see us, obviously, so...
another call out there and see if there might be a buck hanging around here. Oh, I didn't want to do that. We don't have a buck come in towards us here in, in a moment. We'll go ahead and drop out and start doing uh, another stock. Yep, we know that she's right below us there. I see something in the distance, though, I think. Yep, there's the elk right there. I don't know. Let's see if we go to our elk. Uh, what do we got here? Spot an elk. So let's grab that since we know they're right there. Okay, so that should take care of that mission. At least I would have thought it would have. The deer. Um. So even though I spotted it, it doesn't have a given us credit for it yet, huh? All right, well. Another doe walking in on us here. Might be the same one, actually. So the wind gave us away, actually. So, out oh, there with the other one. Running with her tail up, too, just like a regular white tail. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we know... We know that they are there, so let us go ahead and let's go track these cow elk here real quick. Uh, see, that's just another dope. So I'm not too worried about her. Should be getting close to where these elk were crossing right through here. That's that deer running. 
to tell by how the uh, the hoofs were spread out. Uh, let's see, that elk might be that elk right there. Let's see. Oh, that's feral hog. More hogs. All right, so there, we finally got the first one. Let's go ahead and unlock the next one here. So locate three elk tracks. So we'll activate that mission. Got a whole herd of them right here. Look at that. I wonder if we can get into one of these that, uh... Oh, that's hogs still. See if we get on our belly here. Okay, there we go. There's one. There's a second one right next to us here. It's going to be tough trying to <laughs> fight. Let's see if we can uh, get three here of the same. Uh, I'm looking for a dome here, hopefully. Heavens, where are you?
That one's domed, but... None of these other ones are, unfortunately. Okay, so that's the feral hogs. Starting to move off. This looks like a dome, though. Yep. Let's see if we can get a third track off this one then. Oh, she's bed down. Look at that. seen any uh, new tracks from the, or continuing tracks I should say turkey These are all half the fingernail ones. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure where that elk went to. Another turkey. Another deer. More turkey right there. Turkey. Well, I guess we'll go over here where those uh, tracks were and see if maybe we can pick up on a different cow elk and try to get that mission done. And we'll wrap up this uh, first video of the start restart, I guess, uh, beginner's guide. So you know, while I'm Moking my way back over here. So just to kind of reiterate, uh, you start with the gun, uh, the 243, and you can, once you register and confirm your account, 
Uh, you can get uh, the shotgun as well. It's a white tail deer from earlier. Um, you want to make sure you pack both those uh, when you can, just simply because uh, these missions. Uh, obviously, you can use a 243 on on white tails and animal, you know, animals similar in size. Elk are going to require the slug, uh, which is why I take the shotgun. Uh, but make sure to to grab all the missions at the beginning of the of the game. Uh, so white tail deer roaming. Um, and once you guys do that, um, that will continue uh, right where we are right now. Where we're hunting white-tailed deer and currently elk as well, trying to get enough consistent tracks that we can get credit for the the mission. I saw a globe of track over here. I guess not. Must have been a reflection off something there. back down here into the old tracks and see what we can find here. How's that white-tailed deer? Ah, uh, what are you doing? There, it looks like some elk poo. Oh, there's our second track right there. Alright, so we got getting hooked part two. So, let's go ahead and... Getting hooked part three, which would be harvest the elk. Let's go ahead and grab that one here real quick. Let's go do some tracking. Get the deer. Not worried about that deer right now. This is where they all went back and forth, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, heck. Track another.
Got tracks all over here, but I just don't know. They kind of all went scattered in different directions here. Unfortunately, I don't have a call, so I can't. Don't have an elk call. So this is, uh, I guess, stocking at its best here. <laughs> but we'll, uh, let's see if we can find one here, wandering around still. Track this one here real quick and see which way she went. So she actually went down the hill here. Let's uh, see if we can track her down. I want this one right up here. turkeys. Wonder how far she went here. Looks like she may have uh, just kind of wandered along this hillside. So I got a Roosevelt elk up to two. More turkles. Turkey, turkey.
I don't know. Trail, we don't want that one. We are trying to get back into these. They must have split off in different directions. The only thing I can think of. Which is unusual for elk. Usually, elk, at least the cows, they will hang out in uh, small herds usually. So. See, she's trotting there, so she must have got spooked. That me? That must have been me. I wonder when I heard that call up here. I bet that's what that was. She got spooked and I took off. I am not seeing her. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, I guess let's see if she's still trotting here. If she is, we may have to go figure out a different... Okay, there she's roaming. But you can tell that circle isn't getting any shrunk down anymore. So they might not be in the area at this point. So we'll go ahead and give it just a couple more minutes. If not, uh, but we don't see her on the top of this. Hillside, we'll just fast travel over to the lodge and uh, wrap up this. Uh, that's a, a deer. We don't need to worry about that right now. I don't think she went this way. I'm not seeing any tracks up here by the road. So, all right, so we're going to hit the map key. Uh, if you weren't familiar with fast travel that you can do so, you just click on the location, and it'll say, are you sure you want to do that? We'll just say yes. And we are back at the lodge. So with that, everybody, I wanted to say thank you so much for joining me. I'm back on this uh, fresh start uh, for the tutorial on this. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this series. We'll go ahead and make sure we continue to uh, pump out some more videos for you. Uh, if you guys have any questions in the meantime or need help with anything, just leave those comments down below and I'll be more than glad to respond to those. 
uh, as well as if you have any desire, we'd love to have you become part of our Discord community. Uh, the link will be down in the description below as well. So with that, everybody, thank you so much for joining me, and until next time, take care.